The science behind lean bulking, how to do it the right way. You hear everybody saying, oh, I'm gonna bulk up this winter. I'm gonna put on 30 or 40 pounds of good solid bulk and I'm gonna diet it down before summer. Well, here's the problem with that. You put on 30 or 40 pounds, it's not gonna be muscle. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's gonna be fat because there's no way you can put 30 or 40 pounds weight on and expect it to be all muscle within a four month, five month bulk. So you're gonna to go to every place you go to and you're gonna sit down and every meal's gonna be like Thanksgiving and you're gonna eat like you got three assholes. No, that's not how you do it. The science behind lean bulking is really simple. It's a good quality, high protein diet Complex carbs, yes, depending on how you look. If you're fat going into this, the last thing you wanna do is to increase your complex carbs because you're not gonna burn through them, you're gonna store them and they will be stored as fat. So you have to figure out and be honest with yourself, how do you look? Are you on the lean side starting this bulk or are you on the fat side? starting this bulk. If you're on the lean side starting this bulk, you gotta figure out your proteins. Your protein gram intake per day is based on how much you weigh. And I'm only gonna use numbers as an example. Let's say you're a 200 pound guy and you wanna bulk up to say 220, 225. I recommend you take in about between 180 and 200 grams of protein a day. Now, this is the guy on the lean side. Complex carb wise, you have to figure out the happy medium of complex carbs. You don't wanna take in three and 400 grams of complex carbs a day because you're not gonna burn those carbs. You're gonna store them. Yes, you're gonna gain weight, but you're gonna gain fat and that's what you don't want with this you have to understand the science of food my recommendation is start with 100 grams of complex carbs per day you look at yourself in two weeks not so much the numbers on the scale how do you look do you look like you're gaining size and filling out or do you look like you're getting fat the numbers on the scale are going to change periodically throughout the day depending on how much food you eat, how many fluid intakes you take during the day, basically how much you're drinking, how many times you've gone to the bathroom to pee, and how many times you've gone to the bathroom to drop a deuce. That number on the scale is gonna change throughout the day by four, five, six pounds. A gallon of water is eight pounds, so you do the math, okay? So let's get back to the complex carbs. You start out at 100 grams of complex carbs. That's a nice little amount of complex carbs. And after two weeks, you get on a scale and you see that you're leaning out. Don't be afraid of it. What are you leaning out? Is your body fat leaning out, but your muscle mass still staying full? You haven't lost any muscle? Because you're not gonna gain muscle as fast as you can gain body fat. You can gain body fat real quick. You wanna go gain 10 pounds in a week? We'll go to every drive-thru and order the left side of the menu twice. You're gonna gain weight. This isn't a game of gaining weight. This is a game of learning how to put lean, solid muscle weight on. You know, what's better? I gained 20 pounds in four months or I put on a good solid five pounds of muscle on this year. Five pounds of muscle is a hell of a lot more than 20 pounds of body fat it looks a lot better on you, okay? So once you figure out what your complex carbohydrate intake is gonna be, and you find that happy medium, now let's go back to the 100 gram number. If at 100 grams you see that you're leaning out a little bit, that's a good thing, okay? You're leaning your body fat out. So body fat's leaning out, let's look at the protein intake. You know, I said between 185 and 200 grams of protein. Bump it up by 25 grams or 50 grams of protein a day. And run that for two weeks with 100 grams of complex carbs. And see how you look. Get on the scale. Has your weight maintained? 
Have you gained a pound or so? Have you lost another pound? If you lost another pound or so, I guarantee you it is not going to be muscle because your protein intake is high enough that's going to build you muscle. You're going to be burning body fat. And I'll give you an example. There's a kid I've been working with. He's a natural bodybuilder. And we're into this for four weeks. We started off at 150 grams of protein and I believe at 100 grams of complex carbs. He was eating more by what I was giving him than he was before. So after two weeks, I had him get on the scale. He had leaned out almost four pounds in two weeks, but he looked bigger. He was tighter. He was leaner. His body fat's burning. So I said to him, let's increase the complex carbs and let's increase your protein. So we increased. Complex carbs went up by, say, 25, and protein went up by 25 grams. We ran it for another week. Again, he's leaning out, but he's looking bigger, more tone, more tight, more definition. So what do we do? What we've been doing is working. He's not losing any muscle, but he's burning that body fat. And that's what you want. You want to do a lean bulk by putting muscle weight on, not body fat, which is stupid weight. So I just increased his protein to 200 grams a day. His complex carbs are now 150 grams a day. One day a week, I send him out for a cheat meal. His flavor of the day is five guys. He gets a bacon cheeseburger and a french fries on top of the meals that he's already taking in that day and it's working for him. You have to understand the science of food in order to be successful as a bodybuilder. Anybody can go out and eat an ass load of food and gain 10 pounds, but it's not gonna be the right 10 pounds. My goal with this person is to put on about a good solid five pounds of muscle. So we just changed him up a little bit today. More food than he is so used to eating, he's gotta start eating an extra meal a day get the proteins in because I only have them taken in about 30 to 40 grams at a time. Don't want to eat every meal like it's Thanksgiving. So you're going to have to wait another three hours and get a meal in to keep that calorie count up, to keep the protein intake where we want it, and to keep the complex carb intake where we want it. This isn't a race to gain as much weight as you can. You always want to look the part of a bodybuilder. You always want to have muscles popping. You want big, full muscles. You want the separation, a little bit of definition in the off season, but you don't want to be fat. You don't want your abs to disappear because abs are so freaking hard to dial in. Abs are made in the kitchen. It's all diet. So why wouldn't you want to control that diet in the off season? So you always kind of sort of got your abs showing. The science of food is everything when it comes to bodybuilding. A pound of fats like this, a pound of muscles like this. Control your eating, understand the science of food, learn your body, and do things in smaller increments. Again, I used a 200 pound bodybuilder at originally 150 grams of protein. We've already got him bumped up to 200 within a month. Bumped his carbs. Every couple of weeks, we brought him up. He's still leaning out, but he's getting bigger. And that's what you want. You want to gain the muscle. You don't want to gain the fat. If you're on the fat side going into this, you do not want to take in a lot of complex carbs. And I know everyone on the internet's blowing up. Oh, you need all these complex carbs. You need all these complex carbs. You don't know the backstory of the drug cycle they're using. If they're using insulins, you don't know any of that. No one wants to admit to that. But I'm here to tell you, if you're on the fatter side, and you want to have a bulking session, your worst enemy is going to be complex carbs. You need to take in, believe it or not, fats. 50 to 75 grams of healthy fats a day. Keep your complex carbs below 50 grams a day. But you got to calculate the number for your proteins based on your body weight. I say a little less than one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You're going to gain muscle and you use the mirror as your guide. Are you burning fat? Are you maintaining your size? 
If those numbers are all working for you, you stay with it. Or if you think you're shrinking, you never raise the complex carb number because you still have to burn your body fat. You raise your protein number. You go up 40 grams. In other words, you add an additional protein meal in with good healthy vegetables and some good fats, but keep your fats in that 50 to 75 gram range. Bodybuilding is a journey. It is not an overnight success story. Gaining muscle is a journey. It is not an overnight success story. Gaining fat, like I said, one week, hit the left side of the menu twice at every drive through you'll gain the fat, you'll gain the weight, and if you think that's impressing people, you're sadly mistaken. Because when the time comes that you need to lean yourself down, you're gonna have to burn through 25, 30 pounds of body fat just to see maybe the one or two pound muscle gain. Whereas if you stayed on the leaner side of the diet and kept away from those complex carbs, you're not gonna put that body fat on, you're gonna lean it out but gain the muscle weight. So if your intention is to compete, dialing yourself in is very simple, almost there. I always tell my competitors, stay within 15 pounds of your competition weight, and that's a regimented diet. You can have a cheat meal, of course. No one's gonna deprive you of your cheat meal, but every meal can't be a cheat meal. Every meal can't be Thanksgiving. Bodybuilding is a very regimented, very dedicated lifestyle of living and training and eating. Okay, I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I've got newly released training courses in my Buy Me A Coffee site. The link is in the description below. I go through all the body parts, chest and shoulders, back and biceps, legs, shoulders, triceps, and forearms. I have the dramatic weight loss reversing type two diabetes, and I have the competition prep course for those people who are competing, male or female. I've coached male and female and turned them pro, okay? There's a science behind all of this. I put a lot of time into these videos. They are large videos. I believe the chest and shoulder video is almost two gigs. They're large videos. And if you join my Buy Me A Coffee site as a member, you get 25% off of the body part courses. So. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with your friends. And I will see you guys back in the next episode of Championship Muscle. Peace out.